The Cosmic GTS 2 is expensive, but is it worth it? Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jack, and today we're doing a review of the Cosmic GTS 2. Let's get into it. The Cosmic GTS 2 is part of Speedcube Shop's line of premium, professionally set up cubes, and the GTS 2 is just that. Out of the box, it was very gummy and honestly not that good. However, after multiple solves, this cube became amazing and is definitely my main over my cubicle premium UHL. And just so you know, I will be comparing this cube a lot to my cubicle UHL, mainly because it's the only thing I can compare it to. The GTS2 is a 55.5mm puzzle which continues the trend of slightly smaller 3x3s. It weighs 80.2 grams, and I can definitely feel that compared to the UHL's 86 grams. Honestly, I can't speak for lighter cubes, but the weight of the GTS2 is really good. In terms of performance, the cube has a louder, more crispy sound, and while I do like that, sometimes the UHL's more dull, hollow sound can be preferred. This puzzle is really smooth, and I love how each of the layers turn quite nicely. This is on the faster side of cubes, but for being pretty fast, it's also very stable. I hardly lock up at all, and when I do, it's mostly due to my slightly rougher turning style. And just so you know, I did get the Just Make It Awesome option, which did make it awesome. Speed Cube Shop did a great job tensioning the cube, which was perfect, and the lubrication was great. Corner cutting on this cube is really nice, and I can cut well over 45, and reverse cutting is also quite good. Corner twists are non-existent on this cube, and of the 500 plus solves I've done on my GTS2, none have happened so far. Because I bought my UHL from the cubicle, I wanted the same sticker shades, and Speedcube Shop was happy to match them for me. And even though they aren't quite perfect, they still look really close. Interestingly enough, I find that Speedcube Shop stickers were much higher quality than the cubicle. In the month and a half I've had it, I've only had a few tiny chips, and my UHL had some much bigger ones in the first month. Also, the Cosmic logo is pretty cool. One side note about Speedcube Shop that I liked was the fact of how good their customer service was. It's not that the cubicle was bad or anything, I just felt like Speedcube Shop cared more and were more personable. They have a 6 month warranty on this cube and that covers the tensioning and the lubrication. So if you don't feel like it's performing right, you can send it back to them and they'll give you an evaluation. Plus they send you a carry bag for your cube and that works really nice. One thing about it though is that it does leave little flakes of felt behind from movement. So I put my cube in a ziplock bag before I put it in the felt bag, just to be safe so I don't get stuff in the cube. Now to the price, $33.95. That's a lot of money for a non-magnetic cube, so is it worth it? To me, yes. I use this cube basically every day, and during all the solves I've done, no corner twists, no pops, and there is still lube left inside. For me, this has been an amazing cube, and for the money, you really are getting a quality speed cube that could potentially set world records. But depending on your turning style, this cube might not be for you. But who am I kidding? How could it not be? This cube really is that good. 